In this video, I will be discussing the details of what is being dubbed as the Silver Tsunami, which will be record-breaking in the United States, and it is starting right now in 2024 and will be extending through the end of 2027. That's the focus of this video. Let's get into it and talk through the details. Now, first off, let me ask you a quick question. Have you heard of the Silver Tsunami? This is actually very fascinating. I've been doing a lot of research on this lately, and I do want to share with you a bunch of different facts, a bunch of different numbers, and a bunch of different statistics in regards to the silver tsunami and what we can expect through the rest of this year 2024 and again extending for the next four years through the end of 2027 this is very very interesting now obviously the silver tsunami is just a fun little name that is being given to this but when i share with you all the numbers behind all this you're probably going to see oh yeah i, <laughs> I guess that is a, a tsunami right so again this is going to also offer massive implications for the united United States, the economy, the markets, all kinds of things like this, and Social Security. Many of you here in the community that watch the videos here on the channel, you know that I have a lot of videos and I talk a lot, literally every single day, about Social Security and all the benefits administered by the administration, including but not limited to Social Security Retirement, Disability, SSDI, Survivor, Spousal, SSI, VA, RRB. Obviously, I threw a little bit extra ones in there, but my point is all of these fixed income benefits, this is going to have some major major um, implications on these programs. All right, so let me share with you a bunch of different numbers here, and then we can talk through the details about this. So starting at the beginning of 2024, now obviously we're a little bit into the year as of right now as I film this video, but this is extending through the rest of the year and it started at the beginning of the year. Here's what it comes down to. Every single day from now, or basically the beginning of 2024 through the end of 2027, 11,000 people every single day will be turning 65. That is not a typo. 11,000 people a day turning 65 in the United States. This is just the United States. This is not globally just the United States alone every single day. That's a lot of people. In fact, I was talking to my wife, Corey, about this the other day about it because I thought, how? Like, how is that even possible? You know what I mean? It just seems like such a big number. Like, how is that even possible? But it is. This is the reality of it. So here's what's interesting. Between now or the beginning of 2024 through the end of 2027, an estimated 16.5 million people just right here in the United States will be turning 65. In fact, this year alone, 4.1 million people turning 65 just this year alone. That's a lot. Seriously. Now, do you think this is going to have some um, some effects on fixed income benefit programs like Social Security and other things like the stock market and the real estate market and all kinds of things like this? Yes, 100%. The workforce, how about like that? Yes, 100%, okay? Now, which by the way, uh, in just a minute here, I'm gonna be talking about some things that I wanna bring to your attention if you are going to be turning 65 either this year, next year, the next couple years here, at any point, if you're turning 65, I wanna point a couple things out for you, which by the way, if you're enjoying this video so far or any of this here on the channel, make sure to subscribe down below, totally free to do so, and also share this video with your friends on social media so they can see the details about the silver tsunami. And this is something we need to continue watching. We know the wave is coming, just gotta watch it and we gotta be prepared for this. Again, it's not a bad thing, but it's going to have some massive effects on the economy and a bunch of other uh, programs out there. So we wanna know the details about it. So again, Thanks for joining me. Please subscribe down below. All right, so let me share with you some other details about this. Again, silver tsunami, pretty important stuff here, okay? This is a major, major um, kind of effect here in the United States. We've never had anything like this before in the history of this country. We've never had any like major waves of people like this turning a certain age basically over this period of time, okay? Now, here's the thing. Do you think that a lot of these people right now that are maybe turning 65 this year or over the next four years are going to be maybe, I don't know, filing for social security? Yeah, definitely. Now, obviously some people already have, but again, for those people that haven't are going to be filing for social security. Do you think that this is going to have some extra maybe strain on the program. And again, not in a bad way. All of these people are eligible for the program. Therefore, you know, if you're eligible for the benefits, you know, by all means, grab them, right? Seriously, the thing is, you've been paying in through Social Security payroll taxes your entire life, 
why wouldn't she claim those benefits when it comes time, right? And again, I'm not here to advise anybody what to do. I'm just simply saying this is the detail about it, okay? So this is going to put a lot, a lot of extra pressure on Social Security, not only to approve these applications and things like this, but the customer service needs to be there as well because... You know, that extra that many extra people receiving benefits on top of all the beneficiaries as of right now, which by the way, there's about 71 million people receiving benefits as of now. That just means a lot more people receiving these benefits and rely on these checks every single month, okay? Now here's the thing as well. A lot of these beneficiaries and a lot of these people that are turning 65 may also be uh, exiting the workforce. Do you think this is also going to have some kind of impact on maybe the economy as a whole, the workforce, the labor participation rate? Yeah, for sure it is, right? So we already know that the labor participation rate is very low. It's only about 62.4%. What does that mean? It simply means that anybody between the ages of 16 and 65, 62.4% uh, of them are in the workforce. The other, what is the math on that? 37.6%. Uh, are not in the workforce, okay? So that's gonna make, have a major impact on the economy and the workforce as well, and something we need to pay attention to. Now, something else. Do you think this is also going to impact things like the stock market and the real estate market and all things like this? For sure it is, right? If people are going to be retiring or maybe downsizing their homes or liquidating a portion of their stock portfolios to maybe live on that money um, during their retirement or things like this. And again, I know this is not the case for everybody, but just a situation that I wanna to bring to your attention. Do you think this is gonna have implications on these different markets? Yeah, 100%, right? So we might be seeing you know different shifts in the, the markets out there as well. Something else we certainly need to pay attention to, but this is all things that are coming. And again, like I said earlier, we see the wave coming. We know it's coming. This is not like a big like shocker, like, whoa, we didn't know this was coming. We know it's coming, okay? So this is the thing. We gotta uh, continue to watch for this, and this is going to have some massive effects on the economy and again, different markets that are out there. But if you're in this situation, let me point out something else that I wanna bring to your attention really quickly. Remember this much, when you turn 65, what are you eligible for? Well, yes, obviously social security, that's actually at, at the age of 62, but when you turn 65, you're also eligible for Medicare. Now here's the thing, whether you are currently working and you have uh, health insurance through your employer, that's cool. You can still uh, enroll in Medicare if you want, which by the way, this is not advice in any way, shape or form, but you can enroll in Medicare uh, three months before the month you turn 65, the month of your 65th birthday, and three months after your 65th birthday. Uh, it is the, the enrollment period that you have that you have seven months to do this. So Depending on your situation with healthcare, if you don't have healthcare right now, and if you're not, uh, you know, employed, things like that, you may want to jump on Medicare right away. However, if you're still employed and you have a insurance plan there, something else you may want to consider is maybe just apply for Medicare and just grab Medicare Part A right away, and then hold off on par, uh, Part B for at least maybe a little while, so at least you have that secondary payer there, or maybe you take Medicare Part B as well. And again, this is very specific on your own situation. Again, I can't advise you what to do here. I'm just simply saying, this is something you may want to take advantage of. Now again, remember this much, for every, uh, for, for, for uh, sorry, when you uh, delay claiming or basically enrolling in Medicare Part B, there's a major penalty, 10%. That's a major penalty, okay? And it's a permanent penalty as well uh, for as long as you delay Medicare Part B. So just take that into consideration as well. So anyway, a couple different things I wanna bring to your attention here as far as the silver tsunami. Pretty interesting. I've been reading a lot about it again, like I said, and. Uh, I find it to be very fascinating. Now, I may come back with other videos and break down more details of this, but I wanna kinda of break the ice with this one here, and I thought it was pretty interesting. And again, I wanna share with those statistics for you. So anyway, with that being said, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends on my social media. There's a big share button down below. Go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel, including those in the video library or those that I have linked down below in the description or at the top of the comment section. Otherwise, leave your comments, questions, feedback down below. Make sure to stay tuned. And if you are somebody in this situation, make sure to continue to watch the videos here on the channel as I'm giving you updates literally every day on different aspects of Social Security, what lawmakers are talking about, reform to Social Security, all kinds of things like this. A lot of things are happening. So again, enjoy your day. Take care. Have a good one. And I'll catch you again later in the next video.